What's up, my dear friends of the world? Paul the Trombonist here. And in this video, we're going to talk about the top four things that every single trombonist should avoid. So don't go anywhere. And if you stay to the end, I'm going to play you a little song. Okay, number four, lack of hydration. Ooh, this is a big one. Lack of hydration. You know, think about this, no water, no music. See, water is life, and you can think about it the same with your music. If you don't have hydration in your music, then the music's not gonna have any life, and it's not gonna work. So if you're not staying hydrated, you're gonna lack the life that you need in your music, and you're gonna lack the stamina. So remember to always have water when you play. I remember one time I was doing a show, a musical, and I was like a really exposed solo in it. And I had a water bottle with me almost every single night. And then one night I completely forgot to bring that water bottle and I biffed up my solo. And I biffed up the solo and I was thinking, why did I biff up the solo? Why isn't the solo going on? And the reason that the solo didn't work out is I realized it was the one night that I didn't have my water. So don't forget to always be hydrated when you're playing. It's, it's so important. It's just the nature of the instrument. The third thing, number three, Lack of sleep. So less than six hours of sleep will most definitely hurt your skills. I, I know this one. It's like anytime I don't have much sleep, a couple hours of sleep, I notice chops, endurance, all kinds of problems going on. So definitely don't forget about that. You want to get a nice sleep, especially if it's an important thing. You got an audition going on. Let's say you got some kind of a, something important, <laughs> a solo, a performance. Get some sleep, please. Don't stay up all night partying. And then, uh, actually, I've analyzed it, and every time my chops feel stiff, it's usually a lack of the sleep. So the the number four, you know, the water situation, stay hydrated. And number three, um, the the lack of sleep. That's uh, don't let that happen to you. Uh, number two, number two. So the number two thing to avoid is lack of warm up. So think about someone that's running, a professional runner. Would they run the marathon before stretching? You're gonna hurt yourself if you do that with the brass playing. So one thing you can do is get the air going, get the chops going like this, do some buzzing, do some long tones, nice and easy. It doesn't have to be much. I noticed that if you just do like five minutes a day, uh, right at the beginning before you play, that can do wonders. Even if it's like five minutes, just to do some nice long tones, but never just start like playing. That's gonna hurt you, it's gonna ruin you for the rest of the day. So. Listen to your body. It tells you when it's time to, you know when it's warmed up. That's one thing I know of, that I notice. It's, you know when it's, you're warmed up. You just do. It's just, uh, you just know. <laughs> so listen to your body. Very important. The body never lies. Okay, the number one thing to always remember to not, um, to have tips to avoid on being a good trombonist, all right? The number one thing brrr, is um, not being in the moment. So if you're not in the moment, you're going to get screwed up, all right? You're going to get screwed up. And I know this is true. Anytime my mind wanders or thinking about something else, I'm going to royally screw it up. So I, make it about yourself. Every time you pick up your horn, every time you do that to honor the music and to be in the moment. I wrote that on a note card inside my case. And after that, my playing got much better. Just always be in the moment. Always think about the music. That's one thing about music. It's like... Be in the moment. That's one of the beautiful things about it is if you can be inside the moment and, and, and just totally be focused. It trains you to be focused and you're not thinking about all this stuff going on in the future and all the past. You're just thinking about the moment. When you think about the moment, um, all of the mistakes, the errors that usually take place will start to be less percentages of that and you're going to start to have much more fulfilling musical experience is with, with you're always in the moment. So I want to thank you all so much for watching my videos. You mean so much to me. If you haven't gotten your free trombone sound guide that's going to help you with your sound, click the link below. That will help you uh, develop your sound. And I, you guys, I really appreciate you all so incredibly much. Oh my gosh, you guys mean the world to me. It's not even funny. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I got all kinds of stuff here. C click the notifications. And basically, that that's um, that's all there is to it. I want to give a shout out to Wally Fowler for for making that. I really appreciate that. Look at that ma amazing piece of artwork uh, that Wally Fowler did. I want to give him a shout out. Thank you so much, Wally.
uh, really appreciate that one. And that's just another example of how much you guys really mean to me. So I really appreciate you all incredibly. You take care.